going to signal us. I have kind of a, a list of items I wanted to mention here, but I think I'll start and, and work, work those in. Can you hear me back there? Sorry. <clears throat> and work those in as I go along. The, uh, I think the issue, at least the one that I heard, and I'm not going to try to address all of the issues that were raised, but the one is uh, the fairness of the proceeding. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with the board's uh, procedures and how long the board has been in business and been looking at uh, pipeline permits, transmission line franchises. As you know, they do rate cases for Mid-American Energy and Interstate Power and Light Company. They even do a rate case for the water company that serves them in Fort and Clinton. So the, the board has a long history of, of balancing the interests of ratepayers, uh, consumers, and the, and the companies that uh, they regulate. And so the, the Dakota Access uh, petition that was filed in January really came to the board. It may be bigger, it may be more involved and have somewhat different issues, but it, they're not bringing it to a, a body that hasn't dealt with these types of balancing issues before. I just want to assure you that, that the board takes that, that balancing process very seriously. And they're what you call a quasi-judicial agency. And that means that all of their proceedings that have to be dealt with, it's very similar to a court proceeding. The decisions they make have to be based upon the record before them, presented at a hearing, an evidentiary hearing where the witnesses are sworn in. Uh, where there's cross-examination, where any party who wants to intervene and participate